Welcome back uh, guys, this is the second part of the my battle with Synoptic and uh, we're going to get back right straight into it now. Now the battle's boiling down into a number of engagements here, the centre the so the f and the left and right flank. Okay, so on the left flank, you may remember I attacked him with all my cavalry, I'm saying I was going to be a bit more aggressive. The reason for that was not to uh, waste all my cavalry, which is what I would have done against two guard to corps units, is to get his cavalry in range of my rifle units. Uh, he sends a unit round the back of me again, thinking I was going to engage him in force, but I annihilate it by turning all my cavalry units round and charging into him. But, like I mentioned, he is a very good player and did not fall for my for my lure. And instead he comes back later on and uh, attacks me here. Okay, so this is what I wanted them to do in the first place, was to send a unit this far, this close to my front line. It's a guard du corps unit this time. So, firstly, I pin him with my cavalry. Then, secondly, I shoot him in the flank with my infantry. Then, thirdly, I pull all my cavalry out to, to avoid casualties. Now, I'm not fast enough there, and one of my cavalry units gets led, uh, left behind. Now, you can see I've deployed stakes. Uh, for some reason, they don't stab my own cavalry. don't know why. They're, they're, they're my stakes, so they don't kill my own guys. <laughs> a bit silly, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty bizarre. That. I mean, if you charge through your own stakes, you don't get killed. But an enemy horseman charging through your stakes does. What's the difference, really? Okay, so uh, yeah, like I was saying, it's boiling down to into different areas. The battles forming into uh, three separate battles: the left, the middle, and the right. The middle, I'm losing. The left, I'm winning. The right is a bit even. So that's that's how it's going at the moment. I've had to pull my middle back as I've taken heavy losses. Uh, he's he he took the initiative and attacked me, but uh, I quickly reformed the line and uh, I got some of his units out of position. Now on the this is the middle here. Now what I tried to do here is he, he, I, he sent one unit against my Legion of the United States, which is light infantry, which got separated. So I charge it with my general's bodyguard. He forms it into a square immediately, then I shoot a few rounds into it. You can see it's wavering because I've, I've killed quite a few of them. On the far right, I got a lot of my guys isolated by accident. I tried to send them round the flank, but I, I didn't assume my front to collapse, my centre to collapse so quickly. So I had to pull them out uh, straight away. So now they're isolated on the far left and uh, they're in danger of being destroyed. And I need them, those two units later on. So anyway. Here we are. We're all forming back up again. We've we've taken virtually equal casualties on both sides, uh, but fortunately for me, I've t I've killed quite a f deal of his cavalry, which is the key here, the key to the victory here. Okay, so like a, like what I'm trying to do here is reform myself into a into one solid unit, which is the mistake I made in the second battle with him, where I had f where they were all in four uh, different units and they all got annihilated piecemeal. So this is what I'm trying to do, is reform my line into a big line again. Uh, and uh, he's doing the same by the looks of it. Yeah, he is. His uh, heavy cavalry, his guard du corps, was the, the stuff that I needed to take out. He's got one unit left, but the other unit's badly depleted. So if I can take out his other guard du corps regiment, that basically means my cavalry are, you know, un unrivaled them. But at the moment, he's still got cavalry superiority. So here we go. I send uh, three units out of long rifles to uh, lure his cavalry in, but unknown to me, he's hidden some of his cavalry into the trees. <laughs> and uh, uh, at this point, I thought, "Oh crap!" I didn't. I was. I lit. I literally like thought, "Oh my god, where the hell do they come from?" <laughs> you know, because I assumed I destroyed these Bosniak lancers. Uh, okay, so I then swamp him with my cavalry as uh, as as he attacks me. He didn't attack me with enough units at once. So, and then his other half uh, size Bosniak regiment comes in and I destroy that as well. So here I take the initiative and just go straight at him, his militia and his uh, light infantry and attack them. Now this is a suicide mission for my cavalry really. It's a complete massacre of all my cavalry units but I need this to happen. Why? Well I'll tell you. Well, I, this uh, attack on his men will now basically mean that those guys will be disorientated. They'll be out of line, they'll be in melee, and they won't be able to fire, which means I can advance all my whole army closer towards 
his uh, his main force without fear of being shot. Uh, what I'm seeing here is my cavalry is now disposable because frankly I've wiped most of his cavalry out. Uh, he's not got much light infantry left. They're not needed anymore frankly are they? That's how I think anyway. Anyway he sends some guard du corps units around the back but he probably should have attacked me from the front because sending around the back means that I can hit him with my own men. So that routes one of his guard du corps regiments but I've lost now all my cavalry units. Anyway, like I said, the reason I did that was so I could do this, which is to get my all my troops really, really close to his to his front line, so I could engage him uh, with my line infantry regiments. While he was now, he's now having to frantically redeploy to uh, reform his line. So, basically, uh, I engage his militia, which I know will rout immediately. There we go. There's one. Uh, the other one. Oh, the other one seems to be slightly more steady and it's going to stand there, isn't it? Okay, so I can see his units coming around the back of me again. Again, he sends them around the back, but I've got units behind me uh, waiting for him to do that so I can engage him. At this point, it was my long rifleman. I form my uh, left, left, and left and most, <laughs> my left most, <laughs> my left most uh, line infantry into a square to deter any cavalry assault, uh, and I s and I snipe him with my long rifle. See, I'm next to the state, so he can't he can't come at me with his cavalry. Again, so he's redeploying again to try and f reform his force, and again I take the initiative and attack him when he's out of position. So here we go. I'm going to send all my line infantry up again, and I'm going to send some around the flank, just a few units around the flank to uh, uh, attack his men. He's going to have to pull these two units back, otherwise they're going to get uh, massacred. He doesn't, so they get massacred basically. There's his last light infantry unit, bar one, rioting. There's one slightly further behind. Again, he's trying to get behind me with his cavalry. And again, I have my long rifles ready to uh, to to uh, shoot them when they, when they eventually do attack me. This time, he does charge into my square. And this time, I annihilate him with my long rifles. So, instead of pressing the attack even more, which uh, probably I should have done, I decide to uh, wait, basically. I reform my units because I was a sh I I don't know why I, I did this at the time I must I must have uh, not been confident enough I mean he's only got five units left and instead of charging him I decide to reform my line again so I suppose I'm being a bit over patient here doesn't I don't really need to be this patient but I suppose I, I suppose I I win a few battles like this anyway right uh, I'm I now send my long rifleman forward because now I have range superiority I want to try and uh, lure him down. Okay, so a little bit further on from that, after an initial skirmishing again, I get tired of waiting and again attack him on the hill. So I assumed with my long rifles I could get him to come down, but he never did, so I thought I'd just go and take the fight to him. This is, uh, I actually thought all his guard du corps were gone, and I sent my uh, rifles onto the left side, but he still had some left, and he pulverized a few of them with his heavy cavalry. So I retaliate with my last cavalry surviving cavalry unit, which is my general's bodyguard, and I charge them headlong into his guard du corps. Okay, at the same time, I'm uh, steadily getting around his flanks and encircling his men, uh, and basically uh, it's now a, now just a mopping up operation. His guard du corps cannot break through three long rifles, a general, and a line infantry, and so this time they are annihilated. Uh, and the surviving units on the hill, it's only a matter of time until they are destroyed as well. So basically, uh, that's the end of the battle, there's just there's just a mopping up, like I said. I just want to take this opportunity to say that uh, in the new replays, the sound keeps cutting off all the time, which is highly annoying, which, probably, which is why you can't hear any gunshots or any background music, it's because uh, it's, all, it's all choppy and keeps cutting off all the time very very annoying from my perspective so I'm gonna have to uh, well play my own music in the background <laughs> just, just to give this uh, slightly more make it slightly more enjoyable than you having to listen to my voice non-stop like this anyway I'm basically just encircling his last two units it's fairly obvious what I'm doing here uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this game it was a I thought a very very good game uh, to Synoptic uh, he like I say you can obviously tell he's a very good player from the from the way he uh, reacted to all my forces and the way he probed for weaknesses on my flanks. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and until next time.